Four clear. <laughs> Perfect. Dump it in there. You want me to dump four hundred thousand dollars in a garbage can, sir? Exactly. <laughs> dreamed that a $400,000 payroll was being delivered by an innocent garbage man. Brilliant, sir. Absolutely brilliant. And absolutely foolproof. That's why Tri-Cities hired me. Melvin Danger, the master of a thousand disguises. Wait, one moment. You, you crazy kid, forget about me. I'd only break your heart. <laughs> What's this? What does it look like? Payroll delivery. Payroll? In a garbage can? <laughs> does this look like garbage to you? <laughs> it certainly does. Someone made a switch. Wait here. Hold it. A ballpoint pen. Correction, a ballpoint gun. <laughs> I want what's in there. Sure, fella, sure. Here, take all you like. Thanks. I know things were bad, but when they start sticking you up for garbage. <laughs> There's your payroll, Mr. Hammond. You and your $400,000 are safe and sound. And best of all, no one knows it's here. Secrecy is my specialty. <laughs> Good work, Danger. Better have the car check, Williams. It's backfiring again. <laughs> My foolish heart. Danger Incorporated, Miss Tangerine Glick speaking. I'll give Mr. Danger your message. He's on his way in right now. Well, Williams, payroll delivered. Another job well done. How do you do it, sir? By keeping my eyes open and being alert all the time. You never know where your enemies are. Well, they're not down there. Danger, never, never trust a stranger. Pick up your telephone and here is what you do. Just holler, Melvin, Melvin. Danger is his name. Oh, the time it looks as though you're going down the drain. You can always count on Melvin. And his mighty brain. So if you need protection, he's got the right connection. Danger is his name. Hi, boss. Why the window? Just playing it safe. You never know where an old enemy might be waiting. So help me out of this. My pleasure. Tri City's insurance call. They said it was urgent. Probably wanted to know if the payroll was delivered. 
I've put the things that need your immediate attention on your desk. <laughs> Miss Collect, this is an office. I'm aware of my animal magnetism, but you must learn to control yourself. Uh, get that. It's for you. What? The bloodhound is on his way. What's up? Hammond's dead and the money's gone. But how? Some big mouth must have blabbed about the payroll. Hi, <laughs> hell, sir. You're just in time. Prepare me for action. Yes, sir. I'm worried, Danger. Save your concern for the criminal. I assure you, I shall go totally unscathed. You'll see. You and Mr. Hammond were divorced? Yes, but it was hard not to like George. Carl and me were his partners for 20 years. He didn't have an enemy in the world. Nothing in there, Captain. All right, check outside, see if you can find anything. Not so fast. You're not going any place, fella. What is this danger? Caught him making a break for it. Hand over the dough. That's a police officer. A police officer, huh? The same old story. Gambling, horses, deep in debt. The easy out. And who would suspect you? Look, buddy. Don't buddy me. We're no longer brothers in arms. There's nothing more detestable to us lawmen than a cop gone bad. He's clean, believe me. Go ahead, Frank. I ought to run him in. What are you doing here, Danger? Tri-Cities hired me to get the money back. Who are they? Oh, them. That's Mrs. Hammond, Mike Riker, and Carl Best, Hammond's partners. And that's Peggy Mason, Mr. Hammond's secretary. Hello, sweetheart. Charmed, I'm sure. You have my word, I'll crack this case in 24 hours. I'll turn Hammond's office upside down until... Sorry, Danger. You can't go in there until we've checked for fingerprints. Very well, Captain. And remember, support your local police. <laughs> Not at all, Williams. I'll get in there and you will too. But, but, but how, sir? I'm here. Oh, amazing, sir. For a moment, I thought you were a vacuum cleaner. For a moment, I was. <laughs> Angerine, what are you doing here? I brought you a chicken sandwich. I know you haven't eaten. You know I don't like chicken. Now go back to the office. What about turkey? Bacon and tomato? Just go. <laughs> Take care of yourself. Now to check the files. We may find our answer here. Williams, keep an eye on Miss Mason. Divorce papers, mm, gifts to young ladies. I found it. What, sir? Riker's bills. He was deep in debt. The payroll money was the answer to his problems. Riker's our man. He's leaving, sir. Peggy, call my health club. Tell him I'm on my way. Obviously a meeting with his accomplice. Come on, Williams, there's no time to lose. He's in the steam room, sir. The steam room, huh? A very ingenious spot for the contact. I'll be in there, too. I beg your pardon, but this seat is taken. Sorry. He's gone. Can't have been gone long. The seat's still warm. Where'd he go? Where did he go? Sir? Huh? 
where'd he go? <laughs> Who was that? This is Riker. That's right. My apartment. At 10 tonight. Be there. You heard, Williams? A contact. We've hit pay dirt. H hour. I'm going over the top. But how's that? Y'all hold me by my ankles. And with this camera, we'll have proof positive. A picture of the two conspirators together. That's fine, Williams. Don't let go, Williams. We don't want a blurry picture. <laughs> the doorbell. Now we'll see who Mr. X really is. Come in. We can talk in the den. The den, huh? Pull me up, Williams. We're going inside. Uh-huh. Caught at the cookie jar. Look! Riker. Is he? Very much so. Mr. X has struck and disappeared without a clue. Oh, dear. How unfortunate. Maybe not. In his haste, the killer made one fatal mistake. And that is? He left his calling card. Look, a definite trace of Mr. X's lipstick. His <laughs> lipstick, sir? Mr. X is Madame X, a woman who wears lipstick. A woman who has most to gain by Mr. Hammond's death. Mrs. Hammond, I'll stake out her house. Watch every move. She'll never be out of my sight. Hey, can I give you a lift, honey? Get lost. May we help you across the street, ma'am? Beat it, kids. Hey, come on, let go. Let go. Come on, you kids, go home. Okay. Okay, so I'm across the street. Darn kids. Better change my disguise. <laughs> now I can move in for a closer watch on Hammond's house. <laughs> Get going, Williams. <laughs> Put a dog on me. Tried to frighten me off. That means the payroll is hidden in that house. So we're coming back tonight. <laughs> this is it, Williams. Our point of entry, the balcony. We'll hook onto that and then scale up the rope. There doesn't seem to be anyone about, sir. We might just try the back door. Too risky. There may be a servant or, or that dog. We don't want to alert them. Clever woman, Mrs. Hammond. Had the house cheaply constructed to keep prowlers out. It's not going to stop us. The trellis, easy to climb and goes right to the window. Follow me up, Williams, and try not to step on the shrubbery. The crushed leaves would tell them someone was here. Did you bring that tube of nitro? Right here, sir. Be careful climbing. That should go off. Well, I, I don't like to think about it. We'd have to go all the way home for more. <laughs> Nothing here, sir. I don't understand. Somewhere in this house is $400,000 and the murder weapon. But where? I really couldn't say. There isn't even a wall safe. Uh-huh. Hollow. There's a secret room behind this. That's where it is. Quick, the explosive from the timer. How cunning the criminal mind. A whole room plastered shut. Sir, do you really think... I'll set it for five seconds. Take cover, Williams. Get in the closet. But, sir, don't you think... Five, but... four, three, two, one, zero. Williams, I found the secret room. Williams, where are you? You called, sir? What are you doing in there? But you sent me in here. It's the closet. The closet. A red herring. 
someone's coming. It's best. Hammond's partner, and he's with Mrs. Hammond. Aha. Uh -huh. That's the answer. The two of them did it together, and that's why the money and the gun aren't here. Because they've got the perfect hiding place. Where, sir? The big safe, right down at Hammond's plant itself. You've done it again. I have to make one stop first. Where? Hammond's secretary's place for the combination to that safe. Let's go. Who is there? It's me, Melvin Danger. Oh, uh, uh, just a minute, darling. I just found out who killed Hammond. Yes, it's all over, Miss Mason. All over. But, but how did you know? How could I you... I figured that there was only one woman who could have done it. Now I'll pick up the money and the gun and that'll be it. And, uh, you have notified the police? Not yet. I'm the only one who knows that it was Mrs. Hammond and Mr. Best together. Mr. Best and... And Mrs. Hammond? The money is in the safe at the office. Probably find a gun there, too. I came here for the combination. Oh, the, the combination? Of, of course. I, I, I'll write it down for you. Hammond had it coming, I guess. He, he ran around with a lot of girls, but never meant it for a second. His wife was about to lose everything, so she saw to it that the divorce never became final. Oh. How clever of you, darling. Now, here's the combination. And now, Mr. Melvin Danger, if you'll excuse me. Of course, Miss Mason. Oh, uh, going somewhere? Well, I, I actually... Of course, was... I, I understand. The last few days have been trying for you. Great idea. Get away as far as you can. <laughs> Trust me, darling, I will. Ink's still wet. Uh, have you got a blotter? No, 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 don't. I, I, I can get that for you. What's this? Not you. I, I can't believe it. Sure, you're frightened, but those killers won't bother you. You dispose of this right away. Oh, <laughs> how clever of you, darling. I will. Better yet, I'll turn it over to the police. Can't leave these things around. And I can't let him leave with that gun. Uh, <laughs> sweetheart, darling, can I offer you a drink? Here, let me take your coat. I can't. I'm on a case. Oh, but, but you're entitled to something. I mean, for being so, so wonderful. So strong. Please, Miss Mason, I don't want you to think that I'm that sort of man. Oh, but I... I find you very attractive, Mr. Melvin Danger. Forget me. I'm bad for you. Tomorrow it'll be another caper, another girl. Wait, wait. Before you go, our farewell drink together? All right. But only if you promise to control yourself. <laughs> I'll try. You sit down, darling, and, and I'll get the drinks. I know it's going to be tough, but you've... You've got to get me out of your system. We're just two ships that pass in the night. Ah, my favorite. Roses. Scotch will be fine. Sure, I understand. Right now, all you can think of is love and affection. You want to be nice to me. You are the impulsive one, aren't you? Well, I... Uh... I can't help myself. You're like a magnet. Your blue eyes with those crinkly smile lines at the corners. And your strong jaw, your full lips. Oh, kiss me. I think you'd better leave. Huh? Leave? But, but it's me, the magnet, remember? The jaw, the crinkly eyes, the lips. Well, I have to leave now. I'm taking a trip, remember? Poor kid, you're really scared of those killers. Here's your suitcase, and have a nice trip. You really should carry traveler's check. It's the killers. You always say quick into the closet. They'll never get past me. All right. Enter at your own risk. And go for your gun. What about cream cheese and 
tomato. I tried to stop her, sir. What's that? Money! Oh, that? Well, uh, Miss Mason is leaving town and... The money! You recovered the payroll. The payroll? Oh, well, that's her gun. You can ask her. She's locked in the closet. You see, she was... The money! The weapon and the suspect! Oh, dang! <laughs> You've done it again, sir! I'll phone the police. You're wonderful. Now, now let me explain. She didn't... Uh, she couldn't... Be because... Hammond's secretary. Operator, give me the police. That man's a genius. A genius! I know. Police, can you come to 341 Riverside Avenue? Melvin Dangerous solved the Hammond case. The money? The gun? The payroll? Mrs. Mason? Oh, I'm so proud of Melvin. I could give him the biggest kiss he ever had. Melvin? Melvin? Dange, where are you? 